Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ayino Miracle. So today I decided to browse through and stop the net checking idioms and their meaning. So I just made this video to carry you guys along so we can learn together. So let's go. So I already typed idioms and their meaning, just why you can just see the stuff here. So let's go to what Let's go to 150 useful idioms with examples, sentences, and meanings. I just hope you guys learn from this because I'm going to learn also. So, 150 common difficult idioms with examples. First of all, it says, What is an idiom? An idiom, I know most of you will say that you've learned this in secondary school. But well, let's just start. What is an idiom? An idiom is an expression or phrase whose meaning does not relate to the literal meaning of its words. In other words, idioms mean something different than the, idi than the individual words. Wow. Since students often confuse idioms with proverbs, however, there are two different things. Proverbs are well known for a certain piece of advice or general fact. For example, a picture is worth a thousand words. It's a proverb, a general truth. Let us consider the idiom, bite off more than you can chew. Like most of us has, have heard this idiom, bite off more than you can chew. I know most of us know the meaning, but some of us don't know, and that's just the truth. What we meant is that, you are trying to do something that is too hard for you. So let's continue. So it says, here is a list of top 100 common idioms with their meanings and sentence examples. Beats around the bush. Hmm. To avoid talking, like the idiom meaning is, to avoid talking about what's important beat around the way it says beat around the which means like you are avoiding like to talk about what's important get your act together like get your act together it says it means get organized and do things effectively in this video you're not just learning you're not just learning idioms like it's actually telling us what to do like this get your act together now is giving us an advice for those who understand. If you don't understand, it says get your act together, like get organized and do things effectively. So that's advice. It's also like it's also an idiom. And this is like the idiom when you get organized and do things effectively. Hit the sack, that's go to sleep. Hit the sack, go to sleep. I'm learning. I hope you're learning also. Your guess is as good as mine. Wow. This one says, this idiom says, your guess is as good as mine. And the idiom meaning is, I do not know. Wow. This is my first time of actually hearing this. So, uh, okay. Good things come to those who wait. This one means to have patience. It is, I think I'm like this one. I'm conversing with this one. Back against the wall that's stuck in a difficult circumstance with no escape okay when it says back when someone says you can just say back again when someone is back against the wall it means that person is stuck in a difficult circumstance with no escape up in arms being grumpy or angry about something okay grumpy means angry also because it says being grumpy or angry about something. See, scrape the barrel, and the Indian meaning is making the most of the worst situations. Wow, 
or things because you can't do anything about it. They make the most of the worst situation or things because you can't do anything about it. Burn your boats and bridges. It means, do you hear me? It says, do something that makes it impossible to go back to original states. Wow. Do, doing something that makes it impossible to go back to the original state. Then, break fresh slash new ground. Do something that has never been done before. My dear viewers and listeners and subscribers and yet to be subscribed to my channel, I'm telling you to do something that you have never done before. Like, do something new. Do something fresh. Try that. Try out that your dream. Like start up something. If you don't have anything doing yet, then sell like hotcakes. Like wow, sell like hotcakes. Quick sell out. I wish you quick sell out in everything. Your businesses, everything you are doing. I wish you quick sell out. Any business you are doing, I wish you quick sell out so you can make your gains. Then run around circles. Run around in circles. Like. Putting effort into something that is not a worthwhile resource, I advise you not to waste your time in anything that doesn't benefit you. On cloud nine, being very happy. On cloud, you're on cloud, on cloud nine. Wow. On cloud, I wish you guys would be on cloud nine for the rest of your life. I wish you guys that you enjoy and be happy for the rest of your life. Left out in the cold, being in gold. And I, I advise you anywhere you're being in gold. I advise you to leave and go to where and go to where you're celebrated. Blow hot and cold. Blow hot and cold. Alternate inconsistently between moods and actions. Like you are in this mood now. In next second, you are in another mood. You are happy in this mood. You are happy now. In next minute seconds, you are sad. So that's it. Cut corners. Doing something in an easier and least expensive manner. Wow. Cut corners. Wow. Mm. Wow. I'm actually learning. I hope you are learning also. Cut corners. Doing something in an easier and least expensive manner. Bow the ocean. Taking up an almost impossible or overly ambitious project that bow the ocean. Keep an ear to the ground. Um, staying updated, staying informed and updated about everything. It says, eat like a horse, eating too excessively. That's it, I mean, eat like a horse. Does a horse, does a horse eat excessively? I think so. That's why it says, when it says, eat like a horse, it means eating too excessively. A snowball effect. A snowball effect. The aspects or momentum in every event are how they build upon each other. Wow. I hope you learned from this then I think this important tip is good so let's go through it important tip to learn idioms with examples and their meaning it is comparatively easier to remember to remember words unlike idioms because idioms bracket phrases contain contain three three or more words and remembering a chain of words and then speaking them in the correct sequence is not easy but one thing you can do is to repeat the idiom and their meaning a few times loudly and then use it in two to three different sentences wow so let's check these examples 21 aim for a penny aim for a pound meaning that someone is intentionally investing his time or money for a particular project or tax. Example, when a lead was booming, Jim was in for a penny and in for a pound. That's how more dedicated he was, okay? He says, in for a penny, in for a pound. That someone is intentionally investing his time or money for a particular project or tax. I ask you to be in for a penny and in for a pound in good stuffs. So, example, when a lead was booming, Jim was in for a penny and in for a pound. That's how much dedicated that he was. A pen in, ha in the hand is better than two in the bush. So, uh, like this thing is literally like common. This one is literally common. So let's check. If you know, sometimes we we like hear these words often and often, but do we really know the meaning? Okay, let me just see if what we thought it is that's what it actually is so let's check because sometimes we are wrong so let's just check meaning 
an opportunity in hand currently is better than a prospect in the future because time never repeats itself. Wow. Okay, a bed in hand is better than two in the bush. He says, an opportunity in hand currently is better than a prospect in the future because time never repeats itself. Example, the detective apprehended three criminals. The, the, the detective apprehended three criminals and saw other one, one body chase him because she knew a bed in one hand is better than two in the bush. So that's right. Chip off the old block, meaning, meaning that a person is, is similar in behavior or actions like his parents. Hmm. Wow. Chip off the old block, meaning that a person is similar in behavior or actions like his parents. Example, when grandmother saw her grandson collecting coins like her son used to do, she knew he was a chip off the old block. Wow. Okay. Chip off the old block. Chip off the old block like father like daughter like mother like father like son like mother like daughter chip of the old block <laughs> okay do unto others as we have them do unto you oh, this is literally common treat people the same way you want them to be treated treat people the same way you want to be treated i first peter was a little cold today towards that homeless man he should do unto others as you do them do unto him because who knows about time Five. Don't cry over spilled milk. Meaning, don't cry over what has happened as it cannot be fixed. Wow. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over what has happened. Like we are literally, I'm talking about idioms and their reward. This is really speaking to us in a different manner. It's really advising us and it's really giving us quite good information. Walter failed his examination, but his dad came and said just one thing, son, don't cry, over spilled me. I used to make us my video, you failed exam several, or you're a business lady or business guy, and your business has failed, or you invested in online platforms, like online platforms that some of them failed, and you're saying, what am I? Going to do about and you are worried i am trying to like you are trying to feel low and asking me that and i'm telling you that you should not cry over spirit me don't cry over spirit me don't cry over what has happened as cannot be fixed what a failed his exam but his dad came and said just one thing son don't cry over spirit me my friend i'm telling you that you should not cry over spirit you just move on better days are ahead every cloud has a silver lining meaning Bad things one day eventually lead to good things. Wow. Bad things one day eventually lead to good things. Example. See, yesterday you were so moral as your phone was too. But look at you today, you got a promotion. Is it right? You say that every cloud has a silver lining. Wow. Still telling you it's almost certain. Beside yourself with joy to be extremely happy. I can see that you are beside yourself with joy. Oh, I'm being silent then for the joy. Wow, 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 you are learning. Fair and square, wow. Being direct or fair. To tell you fair and square, I did everything that I was meant to do, but I still feel unfulfilled. Having an age up the sleeve, meaning, have an advantage that is currently being withheld. Having an age up the sleeve, have, meaning, have an advantage that is currently being withheld for future purposes. Example, Brian kept quiet at the board, at the board meeting, who knew he had an ace hidden up his sleeve the whole time. Having an advantage that's currently being withheld for future purposes. Wow. A black sheep being a disgrace for the family. And I hope, I just hope, I, I pray that you won't be a disgrace to your family, you won't be a disgrace to your friends, you won't be a disgrace to your society, you won't be a disgrace to your generation. They don't talk about belief anymore. Turns out he was, he was a black sheep for the family. He married someone else while he was still against to his friends. Just hope you are not like that. Hook, line, and sinker. Hmm. Like I originally heard about hook, line, and sinker. So let's check what it means. Doing something or trying to achieve something with thoroughness, with thoroughness and passion. Hook, line, and sinker. 
doing something or trying to achieve something with thoroughness and passion. Example, I have set my mind to go through the spreadsheets by Monday and I'm working for it, hook, line and sinker. Wow, looking to your laurels, okay? Meaning, not, not be lost in your achievements and losing the sight of what's supposed to happen. Look to your laurels but do not rest on it. Look to your laurels, friend, but do not rest on it. Not, not be lost in your achievements and losing the sight of what is supposed to happen. Be a good. To continue to feel angry, meaning to continue to feel angry or unfriendly for someone or something because of a particular past incident. I bear a grudge against him for not taking me into confidence. I hope you're not bearing grudges and I hope that you are forgiving anyone who hurts you, even if it's me that hurts you in any way or the other. I ask that you forgive me and I ask that you stop bearing grudges so you live happily and joyfully and enjoy your life by the skin of your teeth. Meaning, to just barely get by or make it. Hmm. Example, Lester made the dance team by the skin of his feet. You see, the audition, ga- the audition gates were about to get closed. Well, ever thought what it takes to be a friend speaker? You might have been lured into paying a hearty amount of money to build friends in, in the English language. Okay? <laughs> just advertise this one. Here's how to. To be friends in English 30 years. Down for the count. Tired, giving up. I hope you don't give up. My pet dog is down for the count. After playing the whole day with a frisbee, draw the line. To stop before a point where someone, something okay, guess not, guess not okay. Okay? Hey, buddy, that's enough. Draw the line before someone comes and beats you to a pulp. Easier said than done, not as easy as it appears to be. Meaning, easier said than done, not as not as easy as it, as it appears to be. Example: Listing, losing weight is easier said than done. Many people lack commitment. Break a leg, meaning saying good luck to someone. Hmm. Break a leg. Ah, oh, break a leg. <laughs> Wish me good luck. Break a leg. Hey Barry, it's time for you to get on the stage and present your monologue. Break a leg. Hmm. That's nice. Up quick, up a quick without a paddle. In an unlucky situation, that tried dine and dash. Yesterday at a Chinese place, but he was stopped by the waiter's guest. He was up a quick without a paddle yesterday. In an unlucky situation, up a quick without a paddle. Give it a whirl, meaning to give something a try. Friends, give it a whirl. Example, um, maybe I like. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. I said it's a well. Maybe you can check it. W H I R L. You can check the pronunciation on Google. So, if it's a well, to give something a try, I'm absolutely terrified of skydiving. But I think once in my life I'll do it a well. Fish out water. Meaning to be out of your comfort zone. Fish out water, friends. Fish out water, friends. Be out of your comfort zone. Tom felt like a fish out of water when his girlfriend took him to a Star Wars convention in LA, Los Angeles. In the first lane, a life filled with excitement. I wish you, I wish you'd be in the first lane, I wish you excitement. When Chris turned 40, he decided to leave his life in the first lane and put his job on service. Go the extra mile to make an extra effort. He was willing to go the extra mile for the love of his life, Maya. Hmm. Snug as a bug in a rug. Okay, warm and cussy. The baby looks as snug as a bug in a rug next to her mother. Warm and cussy. Step up your game to start performing better. Step up your game, friends. Friends, step up your game. If you have not, subscribe to my channel. Step up your game and subscribe. Perform better, baby. <laughs> Example Jennifer better step up her game if she wants to make big in basketball. Step up your game in your business, step up your game in your academics, step up your, your game in everything you're doing. Wow. Says idioms are used as figurative language. The use of words in an imaginative and unusual manner. Take a look at more idioms with examples, okay? To not see the wood for the trees. To not see the wood for the trees. To be so involved in trivial matters that you don't get the important facts. Example, he always argues on the silliest topics. It's like he can't see the wood for the trees. To be so involved in trivial 
matters that you don't get the important facts lose your marbles to go insane example our mailman has lost his marbles every day he drops mr smith's mail on our door straight from the house's mouth mm, directly from the person involved like it's good always good to be straight from the horse's mouth to hear straight from the horse's mouth listening to the news straight from the horse's mouth his factory burned down right in front of his eyes crying wolf to ask for help when you don't need it mm. crying wolf to ask for help when you don't need it you have cried wolf so many times that no one believes you now palm off pass up something as genuine when he's furious the shopkeeper always palms up goes talk to the customer okay. has a big bigger fish to fry has more important work to do uh, uh, you have a bigger fish to fry have more important work to do please don't bother me today with any calls i have a bigger fish to fry look before you leave calculate the weeks before advancing towards a possibility example you can't, you can't just start to sell all of your shares you can't just sell all of your shares when the market is low Look before you leave. Trump is coming to move. It is possible the shares will grow. Wow. So I think this video will end here today. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. And I hope you learned something because I learned a lot in this video. Hope you learned something. And if it's your first time on visiting my channel through the link I posted or anywhere you saw or anywhere you saw it and, and just click the link at the step, I ask that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for all your watching. I love you guys. Love you guys. And anything you want to check on Google, just browse it. Stop the net. Don't always waste your data. Stop the net and learn. And I hope you learned something from this. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay.